True Gamer here and I'm back with another information technology video. Now today I'm going to show you how to get the Sega CD emulator running smoothly on any Android device. Okay first up you're going to need a PC or a laptop. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Click on the link, download it to your PC or laptop. Now once that's downloaded to your PC or laptop now what you want to do, go to your desktop and make a folder called Sega CD BIOS. Now I'm gonna, it's going to have three files guys. If it ain't already in a folder, just make a folder called Sega CD BIOS and put them three files into a folder. So once you've made a folder called Sega CD BIOS and you've put them three files which you've downloaded from the link, it should look like that. You should have three files and it should say EUMCD1 and then you got the JAP MCD1 and then you got the US. All my games that I'm going to give you are going to be US so it's mainly US but if you um, <clears throat> if you get some ROMs of your own and they come in different regions you'll be covered here. So once that's done guys you've got your CD C you got your Sega C D BIOS folder all ready to rock and roll. What you want to do is connect your device. As for me guys, I'm just using a Galaxy S10 as you can see here. So once I've hooked it up to my computer, this should come up on your screen and it will say card or phone. I think I put mine in uh, my my SD card but you can put it in your phone or whatever you prefer and as you see there I've got the Sega CDs BIOS sitting pretty on my SD card now once that's done now it's time to install the ROMs on your device now to save you go searching I prepared some personal gems of my own to get you started all you have to do is click the link in the description box where it says Sega CD ROMs and it will download the ROMs straight to your computer. Just make a Sega CD folder on your computer and just drag and drop the four ROMs inside. So anything that you download from YouTube should be in your downloads folder. Now I'm going to reveal one of the legendary games here strictly for tutorial purposes but yeah so once you see here it's amazing spider-man versus the kingpin all you have to do is just drag it into your Sega CD folder and you do that with all the ROMs ones that you get from me and the ones that you find yourself so once you have all your ROMs placed in your Sega CD folder we are ready for the next step okay once that's done and your device is all connected up so as you see here guys it will have this appear on your screen you either have a choice to put it in your card memory or your eternal internal phone memory what I did I've got my ROMs I think on my phone memory I've got a folder called ROMs here and inside the folder called ROMs I just drag my Sega CD ROMs into this um, into this uh, folder here now so there my phone memory I've got my Sega CD ROMs on my card memory I should have my Sega CD BIOS very important without this your emulator will be totally broken and just wouldn't run will keep giving you error messages so now we can just close all windows and we're basically ready to rock and roll so to get the emulator guys you just go on your device as I said before I'm on my S10 plus and you go to the Play Store and just put Mega Drive emulator and then this is the one you want you want MD md.emu this one here so install that on your phone okay once that's done you want to launch 
your MD EMU emulator you want to go to options you want to go to system from system you want to go to whatever BIOS you want to play or whatever ROM you want to play you're going to need the right region of BIOS to play it now I've only got US ROMs so obviously I'm going to need my US BIOS so you just tap on US CD BIOS you go to select file wherever your BIOS will be you've got to find it my BIOS is on my card memory you just look for CD BIOS as you see there CD BIOS I want the US and that's basically it once that's done you can launch any US Sega CD ROM now what should I get started with I just launched Final Fight CD and to launch it you want to go to the bin file and there you have it at the moment I've got my on-screen controllers which isn't the best way to play these games I've normally got my my DualShock hooked up to to my phone I just want to show you the emulator running in all of its glory and like I said before this is a Samsung S10 Plus that I'm running it on right, start game I'm totally useless when it comes to on on-screen controllers it's for the new kids on the block I'm old school but yeah just, I'm just going to show you that it does actually work so there you have it and it runs pretty smoothly I must say no lag colors are nice just reminds me of the arcades way back in the 90s an absolute humdinger of a throwback game so yeah guys if you want to find any more ROMs of your own there's plenty of options on the World Wide Web you just have to go searching and do your research and you don't really need a computer to actually download all the to um, download all the files that are required but I just thought it's the nice and easy simple way to show you that but you can actually do it all on your phone so you just basically go onto YouTube find my video download the files wherever they are on your phone you just have to um, implement them on the uh, on the MD EMU emulator exactly the way I showed you okay guys if you like the video give me a thumbs up even better subscribe till next time see ya